What's up, peeps? Leon here, coming back with a little collection update. Thought I'd narrow the focus this time and just show you guys my recent leisure acquisitions. These are certainly not all of my leisure titles, uh, only the ones that I've acquired in the past two or three months or so. Now, I'm a big fan of leisure. Uh, I've always loved their brash, balls to the wall, horror, uh, almost borderline offensive uh, at times. Um, I would definitely put them ahead of Zebra uh, in terms of personal preference, although they are a little similar, um, but not quite at the level of, say, Onyx or Pinnacle. They're actually about on par with St. Martin's Course, uh, which I did my recent uh, collection overview on. So uh, yes, so without further ado, let's get leisurely. Uh, the first book we're taking a look at is Black Death by R. Carl Largent. And this book was published in 1988. That's a pretty cool cover. Okay, next we've got Child's Play by Sal Conte. Uh, this book was published in 1986. And no, it has nothing to do uh, with the film Child's Play of the same name. There's the spine. This is like baseball themed horror. That's interesting. Another one by that same author. Uh, this one is The Power. Uh, and this was produced or published in 1989. Okay, next up, we've got a book called Creature by Drake Douglas, and this was uh, published in 1985, and I'm a big fan of that cover. That's just a really, uh, really striking image. Pretty cool. This again. Okay. Then uh, we've got a couple of books by Florence Stevenson. This is Household. Uh, that's a pretty cool cover. I've actually heard uh, some pretty good things about this one. Uh, this book was published in 1989 and also published in 1989 that same year, uh, Florence Stevenson came out with The Sisterhood. This one was published in October of 1989. Uh, Household was published in um, March of 1989. But this is one of those books that I've, I saw in the bookstore quite a bit, and um, I really like that cover, actually. It's just a very, uh, very cool, it's just so 80s, um, and it takes place in Southern California, and so I figured, yeah, why not? Let's give this a shot. It looks pretty fun. So, um, yeah, The Sisterhood. Okay, next, we've got a book called Carvings by John Snellings. This book was published in 1987. I got to give a shout out to James, who's in this uh, Facebook horror group with me. He mentioned this book. I had never heard of it, uh, and it sounded appealing. This is one of those uh, one-off horror novels. I don't believe this author uh, ever published anything again. When I looked into it and read the synopsis, I just knew I had to have this. This sounds like a total 80s uh, B creature feature uh in print. It sounds like something right out of like Charlie Band, like Full Moon all the way. But um, yeah, it, sound, it sounds like a, a good pulpy, pulpy good time as, as Leisure, you know, did best. So looking forward to checking that one out. Okay, next up, we've got Evil Eye by um, Aaron M. Eli, Eli, Ellie, I don't know. Uh, this book was published in 1989. Uh, this is the BMI edition, which, I, as far as I know, is also 1989. Um, but I've always, you know, I've seen this book a lot, and I, I, I do dig. Uh, I just there's something about skull. If there's going to be a skull, put an eyeball in it. You know what I mean? Like I love skulls with eyeballs. It just reminds me of horror comics. It reminds me of EC uh, comics, and so that's that's cool. You know, you can't. Can't resist the old uh, eyeball in the skull. Okay, uh, next up, 
We've got a book called Deadly Friend by Keith Ferrario. Uh, this is another one that came to my attention from this Facebook group. I uh, just find a lot of stuff through there. And, uh, you know, I probably would not have nor normally been drawn to this cover because this is quite a generic cover. It's, in fact, very uh, generic. You're going to see in a moment. Um, this one was published in 1994, also a BMI edition. Now, when I saw this cover, it was like I was having deja vu and I was like, wait a minute, that looks really, really familiar. Where have I seen this before? I thought for a moment, maybe I already had this book. And then I looked on my shelf and what do you know? It is very similar because they've essentially recreated the cover from an entirely different book, Seed of Evil by Edmund Plant. Now, look at that. They're not part of the same series. They're not even the same author. However, they're essentially almost identical. Now, that's just, that, that's just hilarious. That's just hilarious. So I wasn't crazy. I knew I wasn't crazy when I saw that. So, um, but I've, I have actually heard that this one is pretty fun. And as I've said before, I'm a sucker for evil child books. So hoping it's, hoping this is going to be as fun as the premise makes it sound. Speaking of Edmund Plant, <clears throat> uh, we've got here Transformation. This is maybe going to, I think this completes my Edmund Plant collection. Um, I, cause I do have a few others of his, including that Seed of Evil, um, so this one was uh, published by Leisure in 1987, and um, I do dig that. I do dig those green hands. What kind of a lady doesn't like uh, green, gnarly hands just kind of uh, gripping her shoulders from behind, right? <laughs> it's just, it looks great. And of course, the color scheme with the pink and the, the purple, it's just um, so, so emblematic of the, the era. Very, very nice. Okay, then we have a more recent book. This is The Halloween Man by Douglas Clegg. I picked this up just because um, I have some other Douglas Clegg books. I, I, I think I'm you know, going to like Douglas Clegg quite a bit. This, the premise of this one sounded interesting. This was published in 1998, as you can tell by the uh, crappy <laughs> graphic design there. Uh, clearly, this is late 90s. I mean, just... Look at the difference. Look what um, look what about 10 years does. So, you know, 10, 10 years in the past, we had stuff like this, actual painted covers. And then uh, suddenly we have computer technology, graphic design, and then we get this kind of crap. So just very unfortunate. Okay, next we've got Blood Mist by Robert James. This book was also published in 1987. Then we've got Enigma by uh, Owen S. Ratchleff, and this was published in 1989. I kind of like that, the, the jigsaws uh, with the creature beneath. That's, that's pretty neat. Okay, next up, we've got The Curse by John Tiggs. This book was published in 1993. So you can see we're, we're getting the start in 1993. We have less, uh, you know, embossed kind of graphics in there. It's getting a little cheaper. It gets cheaper as the 90s kind of wear on. But, you know, it's all about what's inside that counts, right? You, don't, you can't judge these books by the covers. Hopefully... This is a, a solid book. We'll see. Okay, then we got a couple of Mort Castle books. I've recently read some um, essays by Mort Castle in this nonfiction book I'm reading, um, and I was impressed. This is The Strangers, and this one was published in 1984. And uh, yeah, this this looks pretty cool, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to, to read this one. And then another Mort Castle book, we have Cursed Be the Child, and this came out in 1990. That's a pretty cool cover. I dig that. OK, 
Okay, and uh, the last two are by Mason Burgess. We've got Child of Demons. This book uh, was published in 1985 and uh, looks pretty intriguing. Here's the spine. Yeah, I'm excited to check this guy out. Um, I was hitherto unfamiliar with him, and then uh, I, I saw you know a couple of these books here. The other uh, Mort Castle, or I'm sorry, Mort, the other Mason Burgess book is Graveyard, uh, and this one was published in 1987, and it sounds like something right out of an 80s horror movie. Um, it sounds like fun. Does does sound like fun? A little uh, kind of tale of revenge, classic classic tale of revenge so yeah looking forward to that one as well there it is guys those are my uh my recent leisure books that i bought um oh yeah before i go i knew i was gonna do this so yesterday i did my saint martin's press uh collection video knew i was gonna forget something of course i did leave at least one that i thought of out and that is the echo vector this should have been <clears throat> in the saint martin's press uh, collection video. This is another kind of, um, I guess, um, well, what does it say? Uh, mutant virus, a bloodthirsty killer. Is there a deadly connection? So, you know, kind of going on that uh, medical terror uh, vibe. But uh, yeah, that one, that's the St. Martin's Press one. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, Stay tuned. I will be having more stuff throughout the week. Should have another review up soon. Should have another discussion video soon. Should have, you know, I, I do want to do like a little special author collection. I'm, I'm trying to think of like different types of uh, videos to do. So I, I kind of like this because I like to like narrow the focus to like all one, um, you know, imprint or all one author. So look out for stuff like that. Uh, thank you again. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.